Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi and this is the second video of uh, data warehouse and data mining and you can refer to the previous video for understanding the characteristics of data warehouse. And today we are going to discuss about data warehouse architecture and its seven components. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So here coming for architecture and seven components, it's a very important question for the external exam. So the seven components are data sourcing, cleanup, transformation and migration tools, meta rep data repository, warehouse or database technology, data marts, data query, reporting, analysis and mining tools, data warehouse administration and management, information delivery system. So we have for this so data warehouse is nothing but it is an environment it's not a product which is based on relational database management systems that function as the central repository for informational data so as we all know that like in a house uh, how we have a storeroom to keep the extra groceries provisions etc whenever we need we use it the same way here a data warehouse also is nothing but it is also collection of data from different sources and it will be stored in a central repository and whenever the organizations need uh, some data to take business uh, decisions they can make use of this as uh, data stored in the data warehouse and the data is always stored uh, it is it is the central repository information which is surrounded by number of key components designed to make the environment is functional manageable and accessible so this information is used by the uh, entrepreneurs or the managers or business people in order to take some decisions to improve their products so the data source for data warehouse is coming from operational applications okay so the data entered into the data warehouse has to be integrated into some definite structure and format so this transformation process involves conversion, summarization, filtering and condensation. So here data warehouse is capable of holding and managing large volumes of data as well as different structures of data structures over the time. So now we are seeing that uh, the data into data warehouse enters through different sources. So it is we, we call it as ETL. ETL means extract transform and load the data into the data warehouse so coming for the data warehouse database so the this is the central part of data warehouse environment so and it is the first one in the diagram now i'm going to show you and this is implemented based on the rdbms technology now see this diagram guys so this is the data warehouse um, with uh, architecture with seven components here we have different sources that is operational and external data and different sources of data it can be hr or it can be sales data or product data data is extracted from different sources and it is cleaned and the data is loaded into the data warehouse so that is the central repository the second one so the data is uh, loaded in different forms and structures okay in a st structured way so the data how actually is organized and stored is stored in this third component that is the metadata how actually this data extracted from different sources either it might be uh, historical data or the data extracted from csv files or flat files or uh, from any of the big data collected from different sources how actually it is organized and stored that is that in in this repository that information is stored in this data warehouse metadata and we have uh, uh, this one multi-dimensional rdbms and uh, we have um, um, uh, this uh, our different kinds of data and the data mart that is data mart is mainly related to the subjects data the data related to each department either it might be if you consider any one uh, application or organization the data related to the product or the data related to the sales or the data related to the employees how actually dip, depending on different subjects different departments how actually the data is organized and stored that is stored in this data marts so this is mrdb and mddb is nothing but this is the day how actually the data multi-dimensional data is stored in the dbms and this data is accessed with the help of information delivery system this information delivery systems are nothing but it includes some 
uh, tools like uh, report query and EIS tools, OLAP tools, data mining tools and some of the application tools. So here analyze how are this, these are nothing but analysis, how actually the data is stored in the database and what is the use of the data that is analyzed with the help of these tools that is the fifth uh, phase what we have taken here the fifth component so it can we can use data mining tools or OLAP tools or you can use some excel or uh, uh, csv files to in order to analyze the data stored in this data warehouse and you have something called as management platform here this management platform mainly deals with the uh, managing the activities okay managing the activities of metadata with this operational and the external data what operations it is going to perform what are the activities involved in it so now we are going to discuss each of these components one by one in the next coming slides so here coming for the second one this uh, the data transformation is required so once the data is collected from different sources how actually the data will be transformed so to what we do is we remove the unwanted data from the operational database and converting to common data names and attributes calculating the summaries and derived data establishing defaults for missing data if any missing data is there we give the default data and accommodating source data definition change so here the data transformation is taking place the data cleaning cleanup is done here in the second phase in order to store the data in the repository okay next is the metadata as i shown you in the figure metadata is nothing but data about data how actually the data is stored in the data warehouse it can be technical metadata or business metadata so it contains technical metadata contains information about data warehouse data used by the warehouse designer administrator to carry out development and management tasks it includes information about the data sources and transformation descriptions that is the mapping methods from operational database to warehouse data what are the mapping methods they have used in order to transform the uh, operational data to the warehouse database and warehouse object and data structure definitions for the target data how actually they have uh, set the attributes names uh, mapping and uh, how what are the rules they have used to perform cleanup and data enhancement so and access authorization backup history active history information delivery history data acquisition history data access etc this technical metadata will be uh, shown in the data warehouse and coming for the business uh, metadata how actually the data related to business is stored it contains information that gives information stored in data warehouse to users it includes some subject areas information object type which includes queries reports images video or audio clips or internet home pages and information related to information delivery system and data warehouse operational information such as the ownerships audit trials etc so some information related to business data and technical data is stored in the metadata and next we have access tools so access tool its purpose is to provide information to business users for decision making so there are uh, five categories already we have seen in the diagram that is data query and reporting tools, application development tools, executive information system tools, OLAP tools and data mining tools. So and here uh, one by one if you see here I have given the description. So here query and reporting tools are used to generate query and report and they are of two types production reporting tools used to generate regular operational reports and desktop report writer are inexpensive desktop tools designed for the end users and managed query tools used to generate sql query it uses meta layer software in between users and databases which offers a point and click creation of sql statement okay so next is the application development tools this is a graphical data access environment which integrates olap tools that is we can uh, uh, analyze the data in the form of a graphs application development tools and OLAP tools are used to analyze the data in multidimensional and complex views. And uh, we have a multi-relational database and multidimensional database to enable multidimensional properties. It is using both uh, MDDB and MRDB. And data mining tools are used to discover knowledge from the data warehouse data. And data also can be used for data visualization and data correction purpose. 
and next we have data merge like i have said it is departmental subsets that focus on selected subjects okay they are independent used by dedicated user group they are used for rapid delivery of enhanced decision support functionality to the end users so it can be used in many situations when the user needs extremely urgent requirement of some data and when there is an absence of a budget for a full scale data house strategy we can make use of data marts and the decentralization of business needs the attraction of easy to use tools and mind size projects so it is a purely subject based depending on different departments whoever needs what kind of information that information can be fetched data marts and next we have data warehouse admin and management so as, as as i said it mainly involves with all the activities of data warehouse and operational database so here it provides security and priority management monitoring updates from multiple sources of data data quality checks managing and updating metadata auditing and reporting data warehouse usage and status purging data and replicating subsetting and distributing data backup and recovery data warehouse storage management which includes capacity planning hierarchical storage management and purging of aged data so here the this is a management of data warehouse that is the sixth one uh, sixth component and coming for the last component information delivery system it is used to enable the process of subscribing for data warehouse information delivery to one or more destinations according to specified scheduling algorithm so information delivery system is mainly used to transform the data from the data warehouse to an application okay based on the destinations and uh, based on the type of scheduling algorithm they have used the information will be delivered to a particular um, destination so this is about the seven components of data warehouse hope you have understood thank you